Hey, what's up there, YouTubers? You tumors of society. Anyway. <laughs> That's what's wrong with the world, right? People are fucking watching fucking videos instead of doing things in the goddamn self. But anyway, I'll get to my point. I was trying to make a video about the vegan barn, which is supposed to replace McDonald's, right? Because if you don't replace McDonald's, like nothing will ever fucking change. <laughs> And the only way that everything's gonna fucking change is if we fucking change. So I think there should be a restaurant called the Vegan Barn, where you can go and just get vegan drive-through food, fast food, vegan style. I'm not saying it's healthy or anything like that. What the fuck? Who cares about healthy shit? But like, at least it will totally be not killing all the animals and therefore not polluting the environment and therefore not destroying the fucking earth. Because, god damn, do you know how much fucking farmland and water it takes to grow one cow? It's a lot of shit. <laughs> Raw materials and resources that we just can't afford, right? Everybody knows this shit by now. Like, yeah, like and subscribe. Don't, don't do that. I don't know why people are always telling you to like and subscribe. You do what the fuck you want. Like, I don't tell people what to do. Right? Anyway, just another one of my crazy ideas. Like, uh, thinking about moving to, uh, Texas because, uh, Elon Musk is telling people to move to Texas, right? Um, why not? Sounds like a good enough idea. We should all just move to a fucking new city and start a whole goddamn new culture and way of life, right? One word. It kind of sounds like, uh, have you ever read the uh, book Atlas Shrugs? In, in, in the novel Atlas Shrugs, um, all the smart people in the world leave and move to a new place and start a whole new society and shit. And yeah, that's kind of what this guy's proposing, I suppose. Um, so, when I think about my crazy ideas, they're really not that crazy. They just kind of fit into this uh, new world and what it's all about. Like, like I, I think we should serve chicken nuggets. Not because they're made of chicken, but because they look like a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and the irony alone, like should sell, so she should sell a lot of fucking chicken nuggets. Um, that's hilarious. And what else? What else? I mean, and more, and more stuff to say. Happy meal. Who the fuck wants a fucking happy meal when you can have an ecstatic meal instead of having some fucking lame ass prize inside? You can have something cool. NFT. A non-fungible token. With some kind of cool imagery or something on it. Something, uh... Futuristic. And relative. This is just like the craze of back in the day when people used to collect sports cards. I have quite a large... Or... Fairly large sports card collection memorabilia i used to think it would be worth fortune someday like everybody else i collected cards and now people are trying to collect electronic cards it's just a new uh type of tulip chasing i guess but ideas are ideas and there's no such thing as a bad one i proposed uh a long time ago that i think elon musk should make his own cologne Imagine that, one drop of this guy's uh, sweat inside of a big old vat of cologne. And I guarantee you people would pay insane amounts of money for each bottle. Because that's the world we live in. It's all about idolatry and it's just trends. So anyway, that's my idea for now is about the vegan barn and uh, you know I see the popular trends of what's going on and I could go along with that shit right who couldn't but if we want to change the world we need to change the way the world works so anyway feel free to send me money Support the monster. So send me some money. 
so I can open the vegan barn. Like and subscribe if you feel like it. Not or because I said any so. one of my uh, number of crazy ideas for the future. If you like any of my crazy ideas, feel free to send me a message.